The United States today finds itself in an extremely fragile, unstable configuration in which it must make some very difficult, very costly choices, uh, or else it will, like the Roman Republic, we will lose our domestic democracy and become a military dictatorship. A government that is voiced by the people has participation and contestation, where people are get out in the streets and then they contest whatever they feel like they can contest because they have no fear of reprisals. We could be repeating, recap recapitulating the history of the Roman Republic, that we, are, we will continue down this path, stagger down it under the facade of constitutional government, until we are one huge military industrial complex. And at that point, we'll simply turn it over to the Pentagon. General Tommy Franks, the commander in the assault on, on Baghdad, has already said in print that in case of another 9-11, he sees no choice but for us to take over. Since 9-11, of course, we all have seen this uh, restriction of civil liberties, the, the increase of the, the police state. Now, where this leads uh, is, is hard to say. There is nothing more unstable than a country that combines a domestic democracy with a foreign um, empire. That it can do, it could be one or the other, an imperialist nation or a democratic nation. But if it tries to be both, it's going to lose its democracy, that the, that the military ultimately will take over.